Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADHD and Attention Coach Jeff Copper, and we're here with Elaine taylor Claus from Impact ADHD. Elaine, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's good to be here. I've been fascinated with attention for the longest time, and one of the things that is really interesting to me is that notion that only 25 to 30 percent of all communication is words. The majority of communication is nonverbal, and you have a technique for working with ADHD that's nonverbal, particularly with kids. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, and I don't even have a term for it. It's like a kind of a nonverbal code word, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the, the idea is there's a lot of times that we're directing and redirecting and redirecting our kids, like a lot. And that gets a little old for them and frustrating for them, and then they get defensive, and then we get annoyed and angry, and it sort of escalates. And so if you could identify some of the behaviors that you know you're sort of constantly redirecting or, you know, that week you really want to work on, then you can come up with a signal that you're going to use with your child to change that behavior or to remind them um, so you don't have to say anything. And the, the one that I remember most when my kids were little, I have kids that have a thing about eating with their hands. They mm -hmm. really like to eat. And okay, like, you know, every couple of weeks we would have a finger food dinner. That's, that's to not make so bad. Them happy. It's I'm, not bad. I like barbecue just for that well, reason. I'm a southerner, so it works for us, you know. But, but there are times where I don't really want them eating with their fingers, and I want them to be able to have mm -hmm. the manners to go mm -hmm. to a restaurant and not. Um, and so we just had this symbol where I would tap the table with two fingers. And it would say, it would mean to them, use your fork, please. Um, it was after the first technique was we would say, darling, may I reintroduce you to your fork? And I tried that for a while. Yep. But the verbal piece didn't work as well, mm -hmm. right? But when I just tapped the fi the, my fingers on the table, they got the message, they pick up their fork, nothing was spoken, the conversation wasn't interrupted, mm -hmm. no attention was drawn to them, and they began to sort of learn, and actually now they all use their forks most of the time. What I really like so. about that is how transferable that is into a public situation. Yes. So you're doing a lot of communicating, and not as obvious verbally, but they're right. still picking up on it. And I think it's a little bit of sign language, but still, there's a lot of communication it takes like, away the shame. That's, it does. Yes. It does. So there's, yeah. there's a lot here. You have to think your way through that stuff a little bit and work with them. But, I, you know, just that nag yes. fits to you after a while. I don't, I don't want, none of us want to nag our kids. And they don't mm -hmm. want to be nagged. But sometimes they don't mind being reminded if we can do it in a way that sort of works for them or they have some buy-in to the process mm -hmm. or, or whatever. So that's just interesting. Just a little tip, hand gestures as a way to yeah. communicate, not to be so naggy. So, yeah. Elaine, thank you so much. You're welcome. To learn more, more about Elaine, go to impactadhd.com. Um, for me, go to digcoaching.com. And if you like this tip or our others, just subscribe to Attention Talk Video. There's a button right below. Hope you've enjoyed this edition. Take care.